the fireman went to throw the switch. Now for my plan, thought Thomas. Bumping the cars fiercely, he jerked his driver off the footplate and followed them into the siding. Come back, yelled his driver. Fire and smoke, said Thomas. I'm sunk. And he was. Oh, dear, he said. I am a silly engine. And a very naughty one, too. I saw you, said Sir Topham Hatt. Please get me out. I won't do it again. I'm not sure. We can't lift you out with a crane. The ground's not firm enough. Hmm. Let me see. I wonder if Gordon could pull you out. Yes, sir, said Thomas. But he didn't want to meet Gordon just yet. Down the mine, is he? <laughs> laughed Gordon. What a joke! Whoop, whoop. Little Thomas, we'll have you out in a couple of pops. Whoop, whoop. Strong cables were fastened between the two engines. Are you ready? He It was a lot harder than they all thought. At last, Thomas was free. I'm sorry I was cheeky, said Thomas. That's all right, Thomas. You made me laugh, replied Gordon. I'm in disgrace. So am I, said Thomas. Why, so you are, Thomas. Shall we form an alliance? You help me and I'll help you. Right you are, agreed Thomas. Good, that's settled, rumbled Gordon. And buffer to buffer, the allies puffed home. So you see, we all get carried away at some time or other. I don't get it. You mean Gordon wasn't mad at Thomas for getting stuck in that big hole? Gordon understood that we all make mistakes sometimes. I still think Dan and Carol will want to kill me. Maybe I could tell them there's a hole in my pocket. But that's just making a story out of whole cloth. I'm sure there's a way to work things out together. I know. You could, need, you could use your magic and make me more money. You don't really want me to do that, do you? Want a bit? No. This time you'll have to work it out on your own. But... We got the dog! Uh, hi, Tara. Hi, Dan. So, uh, what do you think we should get at Stacy? Yeah. Um, there's a problem there. Mm -hmm. you, you see, I, um, see the, uh, our money in. What about it? Uh, see, the money was, uh, stolen. Stolen? Yeah. See, um, I put it over there on the counter, and then I left to get the things to make decorations. And I, um, someone, one of the passengers, that's right, must have stolen it. You left our money out in the open? How could you? I didn't mean to. But you're here! Now, 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 what's this all about? Billy, Becky let someone steal our money for Stacy's present, and it's all her fault. Now, hold on a minute. If the money was stolen, then it's not Becky's fault. It's just something bad that happened. It's not like she went out and spent it, is it? I, I guess not. I, I'm sorry, Becky. It's not like you spent it. Oh, I can help out. I'll lend you three some money. How much did you lose? Well, I, um... Oh, boy. I can't do this. I have to tell the truth. I spent the money. I told you she spent it. But it wasn't my fault. It was Schemer. He was sad, and after he ate all our fudge, well, he said that if I played the machines, it would make him feel better. He's a doer, he's a dreamer, he's absolutely schemer, and he's me, <laughs> the wonderful me. He's a doer, he's a... He's a... Schemer, you stole all our money. What are you talking about? What money? The one for Stacy's party and you ate all our fudge. Hey, I did not steal any money and I did not eat any... <laughs> Frankly, I had a couple pieces. But eating the food gave me a great idea. See? Fruitcakes, made by my mommy, five cents, a piece. Schemer, 
Did you make Becky spend all her money? No, I didn't. Did you? Did not. Did you? Did not. Did you? Did not. Did you? Did not. Actually, he didn't. See, I didn't. I didn't. I guess I could have said no. But I just got carried away. She could have said no, but she got carried away. Did you know the fudge was for Stacy's party? Stacy's party. Stacy's party. Who cares about Stacy's party? Some stupid party I wasn't invited to anyway. Oh, you do care, and you are invited. I am? He is. Of course he is. But it wouldn't be much of a party without fruitcakes. Yeah! Fruitcake! Now, that was a good idea I just had. I'm glad I almost thought of it. Miss Stacy Jones! Miss Stacy Jones! Dima, what did I tell you? I'm very surprised! Look who's old, Moon! Oh, pardon me. You thought know you were sad because you couldn't go see your sister. Oh, oh he threw you a party. Yeah. Oh, isn't that wonderful? I, I just don't know what to say. Oh, mail's in. Oh. I need your signature, Miss Jones. Oh. It must be my package. Oh. Be prepared to have the eyes fall out of your head. What is it, Gamer? Well, after eating over 300 boxes of Cowboy Carl's Crunchy Cowpoke cereal, sending away all those box tops and 937 nickels, Schemer is now the proud owner of a Cowboy Carl's official cowboy outfit. Hey, your legs going to get a little cold in the skirt, Schemer? Skirt? Wait a second, I ordered a cowboy, not a cowgirl outfit. Hey, uh, Stacy Jones, don't sign that yet, don't sign that yet. Oh, no, I have to sign for everything here, Schema. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, this must mean the trains are running again. Yes, ma'am. We started on your new schedule about an hour ago. Mr. King put it in effect right away. Good day, ma'am. Oh, good day. Have a nice party. Doesn't that mean... Yeah, doesn't that mean that... It sure does. It means that Stacy can catch the first express out tomorrow morning and be at her sister's by noon. <laughs> oh, 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 attention, everyone. Attention, everyone. Uh, Schemer would like to uh, give to Stacy Jones a official Cowboy Carl's Cowgirl outfit. Oh, oh, boy. Thank you, Schemer. That is so generous of you. Yes, it is. Uh, would you like to contribute? Contribute what? Handshake? <laughs> okay, Dan, how about you cutting up that fruitcake? Yeah, get and the food. I'll break out Ginny's homemade knife. Oh, I'm going to put this right on. Oh, look at it. Oh, look. I got my thumb. I hope we're not late for the party. Yes, we are, Mr. Conductor. I want to thank you for your help. Would you like some fruitcake? We'd love some fruitcake. We? Who's we? Well, my guests and me. Where are they? We're just. <laughs> reach for the beat, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the word. Reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true. Waiting there 